Hey guys, welcome. So the most important topic, topic on everyone's mind right now is the burnout of Lost Ark. And for a new player, you're not really experiencing, right? In Sips' most recent video, new player experience is someone who just does like a few chaos dungeons. They do their two, they do their two guardian raids and they're like, wow, that, that, that's an amazing experience. They're seeing the world for the first time. Think back to when we started Lost Ark, how much you enjoy the game and how much exploration there was. How amazing that was. Exploring the whole world, getting to know Arcasia, reaching Phaeton for the first time. But for the rest of us that's been playing for a long time, we've, we're past that point. We're at the point where you're doing Chaos Dungeons every day, you're doing Guardian Raids, you do all these raids, and then at the end of the week, you still have some cube and boss rush tickets you gotta take care of. Um, there's just so much, there's just so much. So I wanted to make this video, I wanted to just express how I'm going to be playing the game forward, what steps I'm taking to alleviate it. We're introducing the burnout route okay okay this is for people who are at endgame and they have a lot of characters and let's say um let's say your roster is like this right oh shit what the fuck so you have your six gold earners up here and then you have non gold earners down non gold earners ax them ax them i don't care if you're doing low pang i don't care if you're doing chaos legends you're you're gonna you're gonna be starred on silver i guess i, I don't I, I, don't, I don't care. Axel. Burn. Gone. All right. Now, here's here's what I'm going to do. I give up on trying to do Brawl 5, 6. Especially Pugging. I'm, I'm done. What I'm going to do, these are gone for hard mode. I'm only doing this for hard mode. One and two. That's it. And on the weeks I don't have time, I'm smashing Vaulting, baby. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'll do Clown. Maybe a couple Vicuses if there's a Vicus train happening. But that's it. That's it. It's nothing new. A lot of people are doing it. I'm, I'm not saying I'm revolutionizing the concept. I'm just saying it took me a while to realize this. I don't have to do 5-6. And I haven't been. My, my A lot of my wrestler hasn't done 5-6 normal even, even. So you do one too. By the time a con comes out, you're going to have more than enough horns. You're going to be so horny by the time a con comes out. Don't worry. Or what? what's the new material? The crystals. You're going to have so many crystals. Trust Especially if you do, like, some threes and fours here and there, but... Too trappy for me, man. Too trappy for me. One twos. And I'm just gonna embrace everything and reject the FOMO. I'm gonna try my best to reject the FOMO. And if I miss something this week, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna be raid logging. Um, something that's pretty common concept in other games where all you do is log in, you do the raid, and then you log off. You don't even do the dailies. You don't care about the progression in that route. Because eventually, I'm going to go back to what it was. Um, story of when I first started playing Lost Ark. We just hit tier 3. A lot of us are just honing away. We're selling our leapstones. Because back then, at the beginning of Lost Ark, um, a little history. Lost Ark released in NA. A few days in, people hit tier 3. A lot of whales are in tier 3, and they're buying leapstones. So leapstones back then, the really crappy leapstones that are like less than 10 gold right now, they were worth 9 100 gold 900 gold crazy so people people actually did more than two chaos dungeons a day they did infinite chaos to farm out like the shop for the, the honor leap stones you know oh great honor leap stones regular honor leap stones were about like 200 a piece and it was it was a five to one conversion because not, not that many people were 1370 back then um you hit 1370 you get access to yoho and yoho was a pretty decent fight it took a little bit but it was a lot of fun because back then it was like one or two of your characters were doing Yoho, and then the rest of them were stuck in like tier two or tier one. They were doing Necrocina. They were doing, um, if you remember, the, the big Chromanium turtle, the fire one. He stomped on you, you died. Thinking back, that was a great fight. Like now it's, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's just a drop in the bucket. You see it once in a while for your weekly challenge guardian. So yeah, we're selling our leapstones to the whales, and, you know, we didn't progress as fast. When Argos came out, 1370, we did gate one only. Back then, Argos was three different gigs with three different eye level requirements. It was 1370, 1385, and 1400, and you didn't really do all three gates. You did one when you were 1370, and if you're support, you might be able to get carried through the, the other two, because there, there were a lack of supports in tier three, very, very early stages. But then once people got wind of it, um, more people started making supports and expect basically expected to get carried through gate three. Still, the support shortage still existed and people did carry them through. It wasn't until 
I think Vicus came out. Some DPS realized that they could start busting Argos and they no longer had to be parties that required supports. We weren't doing Gig 3 day one, right? We weren't, we weren't. It was just too valuable to sell the Leapstones for gold. And that really helped at the beginning. The amount of gold that you got made honing seem like it was almost free, other than the materials required. The gold cost associated with honing was pretty low if that, that was the route you took, if you were willing to play at a really slow pace. And it was fun. It was fun looking forward to stuff like that, you know. It was, um, it was a good time. But then, once you're caught up, once you're actually caught up with everybody else, and you're doing the same content, there's it's such a strong feeling of FOMO, of being left behind, that if you don't do your stuff, then you'll be behind. It's, it's just a feeling that if you haven't caught up yet, you don't really experience. But the game creates this insanely predatory environment where you have to keep up with the Jonesies. If you don't, then you're doing the same boring content that you've been doing. And at that point, you, you, is the game respecting my time? The answer is no. The game does not respect your time at all. And for people with an abundance of time, this is the game for you. But boy, is thinking back on Lost Ark so much better than thinking forward about Lost Ark. I think about the future, I think about the current, all the grind that the game entails. Because um, you're at a different point, right? Back then, it was, wasn't that much to do. And the thing is, when the game introduces new content for you to do, it just adds to the time. It doesn't take away any of the time. So when Brawl comes out and you have six gates, essentially what was four more gates to your weekly routine. But they didn't take anything, but really. And you're still doing the same Chaos Dungeons. But the thing is in Lost Ark, when they release new classes, everyone wants to play the new classes, because that's fun, because it's new. Because you're doing the same exact thing on the same exact character so many times. So you add a new character to your roster. Let's just take a look at this. This is what my roster looks like. Oh, I gotta move the camera. <laughs> this is my entire roster here. Oh my God, can I put this somewhere? Holy. <laughs> this is my roster, right? Look at my army of 1540 character and up. And there's also a 1540 down here. This is what it looks like after 6,000 hours of playtime in this game. Ridiculous amount, I know, I know. I've made some really dumb decisions in my life and I've made some really bad mistakes and I chose all Sark over certain things in my life and it has impacted me negatively. But do I regret it? Not really, because it's been fun. It's been a good ride. But, you know, at this point, I feel like my stance is my bags are packed, but I'm, I'm not going yet. I'm sitting here and I'm talking to an old friend and we're just chatting. We're just going over the memories, but if that friend punches me in the face, I'm out. And it feels so bad dropping all these characters that you put time into. Time you created stories, that first time you clear with that specific character doing this content, all those memories associated with those characters, you know, it feels bad to leave them behind. You make a connection with these characters, you know. If you make a progression-based type of system, you get attached. That's that's just how it goes. Like, it's, it's not a character you pick up and drop in, in a fighting game because, you know, you're like, Oh, I'm just gonna learn your character. And then at least fundamentals trout across. No, no, no. The, the eye levels for that character, that's it. The eye level doesn't go anywhere. You can move the gems off, but that's about it. A lot of the gold you sunk into it, it it's just gone. You Essentially, making alts in this game, if you're not playing them, is shooting yourself in the foot. If you're playing them, it's great. But it just keeps growing bigger and bigger, and your roster just keeps expanding. I, I made a video a long time ago about Saint, um, how he talks about where we deep throat the game and we do, and we absolutely do, and we absolutely do. Uh, I'm going to jump the queue here, actually bring up the Stoops video, when he talks about one point, at one point he says, we don't have one alt, like one main, six, like five alts, six alts or whatever, we have six mains in NA, we have six mains, and we keep maining each new character that comes out, and it's... You know, he, he does say, like, it's a core problem because that's the sandbox we're created in. And if you don't make six mains, you know, you fall behind. And eventually what you do content with those six mains gets gold nerfed. And now the income of your whole account is lower. So the fear of getting gold nerfed on that character for your income, you're going to push it up. And not to mention the materials that you can get, you can transfer it over. Like the obliteration stones, the protection stones, the leap stones, all that. Even though leap stones are at record low, 
and most of your leafstone generation will come from your Una dailies. So I wouldn't worry about leapstones too much. Um, like I said in the past, your natural rate of progression is what you get from your Una task. And if you want to push faster than that, it's going to cost you either in time or your economy. And he, he makes some some great points. Like, like NA, we're, we're juiced. For the short amount of time that we had content, we've pushed really far. And map props to the people, the grinders out there that are similar to me with like a juice roster. We, most of your roster is ready for the newest cutting edge content. Like, that's that's great. But, you know, part of that is, I feel like I, I can't keep up. And this is a Lost Ark issue that also impacts the new player and returning player experiences. You can't keep up. You can't keep up in a game like this. Especially not with this accelerated schedule. But the thing is, because of how much content, how much of the same content you do every week, slowing down the schedule doesn't help either. Because it's so boring. You're doing bro six times a week for four months. Korea had to do it for for a whole year. They had bro hard for a year. That was the only content. That was the only thing they were doing. And we have this accelerated schedule, which means you can't take a day off. You can't take a break because then, you know, a con comes out and you can't do a con. You can't do the newest raid. So the reason that you took a break is you're doing bro too much and doing chaos dungeons too much. You come back and guess what? You have to do bro. You have to do chaos dungeons to catch up that's boring that's shit design and like lost ark has set a really low bar one of the most amazing things of trying out like honkai star rail is that it loads up fast i can't take it it's three minutes to boot up the game if adventure island coming up soon you're gonna miss it unless you're already in the game you're gonna miss it if you have the foresight like to log in a few minutes ahead then you'll make it but if your friend pings you that Adventure Island is happening right now, it's too late. You're gone. You can't. Not only does the game have to boot up, you have to eat these loading screens that take like 30 seconds to a minute. And I, I can't imagine what it's like on the slower computers. And like, this is a pretty common sentiment. This is how I felt when I was progging gates, gate 5 and 6. Like, after hours, like, why am I still playing? I want to just log off. You have this social pressure to keep going to clear with your friends. But at the end of the day, like... You spend six hours, like, your 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 mindset is, I want to progress, right? That's what, that's what PROG stands for, progression. I want to progress. But you have nothing to show for it, really. And it, it feels really bad, because you have the expectation of how the game is. When Bro Hard came out, like, I, we weren't, like, saying, hey, this is the hardest kind of game, we might not clear. Like, it, we're thinking it, but we didn't really say that to each other, right? We didn't reaffirm that. We just thought, hey, we're going to clear this week one. Week one, not day one, week one for our group. We set a pretty realistic expectation. And, you know, scheduling problems and whatnot. We didn't put in enough hours. And I maybe it's my fault when I said, like, hey, there are people that put in a lot more hours and it took them a lot longer to clear. I think we need to put in more hours. Because, you know, we're a pretty average group. We're not the best gamers in the world. We're not part of esports teams. We're not the worst players in the world. We're pretty okay. We're decent. But... We needed more time and a time commitment for a community the western mmo community is definitely a much older audience you're asking a time commitment from people with very limited time and then you're expecting people to clear all these chaos dungeons and whatnot this is a point i already went over and you know in, in my other video and, and i showed frustration and it's it's a point a lot of people share but yeah if you're asking yourself this question it's maybe it's time to go you know like i said my bags are packed if they give me another reason, I'm leaving. But there are still things I enjoy in the game, and I'll keep doing those things. Running clown with my friends? It's still hilarious. Still awesome. Do I want to really pug clown? Not really. Not really. But I do have to say, over the past few weeks of doing Gate 5 and 6 prog, um, the people that joined my Discord and everything, you guys have been awesome. We, we didn't have a single negative experience. Like, the community for progging Gate 5 and 6, you guys are so positive. And you guys are so wholesome. I thank you so much. And if you guys are running into people that are negative out there, um, I, I feel like I haven't had that experience. I, I don't want to have that experience. Please don't don't come and like troll me or anything. But I I have to say I'm, I I think I'm done progging five and six. Um, like I I got one of my first clears on a support. Thank you to someone who pulled me into another group. I, I deeply appreciate it. We um we got our first clears. 
but that's it for me like uh, doing it with my other class trying to plug it it's just too much it's too much even some people i've talked to they said they they cleared they they were close to their pet i think they're like one one clear away from their pet they they don't really care that much and then once they get their pet they're done they're done it's just too much stress you know and you want to make something like this put it in hell mode it's again it's the expectations we do vault in we're expecting a, Content to be similar to Vault and Vicus, maybe Clown, maybe Brel Normal. Putting out Brel Hard like this, hard. It's not really Brel Hard. It's it's a raid. It's basically Brel Two. You have to do it. You need the Ancient Gear. You have to do it. But Silver Lining, we can just do Gates One Two or One to Four. Call it a day. But Three Four has been pretty jelly too, because those gates are very difficult. The difficulty ramps up a lot. The thing is, Gate One and Two, you can over eye level it, and it becomes a breeze. You get your gear. You know, like we just want to collect our gold and move on, right? But then, you know, again, why are we still playing? We're just logging in to collect gold? That's that's boring. Like, am I having fun? That's that's a question you really have to ask yourself. Are you having fun? And you know what? Most of these videos talking about it, if it makes people quit the game, then, you know, we're just revealing the truth. We're, we're pulling, you know, the cloth back, back away from your eyes. And, you know, there, there's always people saying, relax, you know, play the game less, hours a week. Like, it, it's... It's a lot to do to keep up with the game, but it's not much you have to do to play the game. You just have to accept that you're perpetually going to be behind. And I don't I don't know if I want to play a game that makes me feel that way, you know? And I, I feel bad for the new players coming in. They they bump into these videos about burnout and, and how people are sick of these things. I feel so bad for them because Lost Ark has been an amazing game. And I, I say this with, you know, almost 6,100 hours. The first thousand to two thousand hours were amazing, and I will never take that away from a new player. But after you reach so many hours, like this is what you're gonna run into. And unless Smilegate and AGS fixes these systems, these systems are always gonna pertain. As a returning player, you're never gonna return to the game. Because the problems with the game has not gone away. That's why they need to fix these things. Like, it's not just a new player experience they have to think about, it's a returning player experience. Think of how games are structured nowadays. It's a seasonal concept, right? That's why MMOs have expansions, so they can reset and have seasonal content. But for the people that do enjoy being ahead and, you know, they get rewarded with a character that's so strong and they don't want to fall behind and they don't want people that take a break to catch up, which is a really weird sentiment. Because that's how you have a dead game, by the way. There's a better better game than Lost Ark for people that want non-seasonal progression. If you want progression that just carries on forever and you never have to reset, it's called Real Life. That's a great game. You get to drink boba out there. It's perfect. But here, video games, we a lot of people enjoy sessional games, you know? And I feel like not having a seasonal progression system is what's doing Lost Ark and negative right now. It's doing it at the service. Not having expansions, is, it feels great for your economy. It's something for you to work forward to that you don't have to fear is ever going away. But you're going to leave some people perpetually behind. And I think that's that's going to be a core issue. So for the rest of today, I'm going to go watch Caudi's podcast. I'm going to listen to what Cywo has to say. I'm going to listen to Caudi. Because, you know, a lot of the content... We don't care about people doing a brawl raid, right? We don't, we don't really care about someone doing clown raid. You watch it because of the streamers. You watch it because of the personality. Thing is, Lost Ark was great. That's the thing. It was. But it won't be. And for the people that do still enjoy the grind, props to you. You found the perfect game. Believe me when I say you can benefit from more players in your game. Trust. Thanks for watching, guys.